Very few lend a signature like this guy. What did that mean to you? Oh, me? <laughs> I'm just like, uh, you're, you're I guess, being me. I'm I just going to jump. You got drop. the answer from that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. John Landau, world famous producer. Rosa Salazar, who you're gonna to get to know even better in a little bit later on. And we're not worthy, my friend, Robert Rodriguez. Thank you so much for being with us today. You. Thank you for having us. Thank you. I feel like I just wanna collapse and curl up in fetal position. I'm so intimidated by all the power in this room right now. I'm so geeked out about this movie, first and foremost, congratulations. Thank you. Thank we, are, you. we are very excited to bring it to audiences. We've been working on it for quite some time and couldn't have had better people to collaborate with. Okay, I want to start with you. James Cameron wrote this movie. Uh, you're not going to see a James Cameron movie that he wrote that he's not directing. However, this is the exception. And also, I'm a fan of the series. I hate to go deep in the woods on geekiness, but originally, the series is called Battle Angel Alita. You turned it around, and I heard you sell someone that's because James only does TNA movies. Please explain. Well, look, Jim has done Avatar, The Abyss, Terminator, Titanic. We keep it in that realm. And also, we really wanted the focus of this movie to be a character. We want it to be about Alita, because this is a movie that has heart. Mm -hmm. This is a movie that, that will, will make you feel things, and that starts with a character. How geeked out were you when you got called up to this? <laughs> very geeked out. I cut my teeth on uh, dramatic and comedic work, but very lucky to get into the sci-fi action adventure genre. It's my favorite one. And also, nobody works at the pace that the guy next to you does, or with <laughs> the right. style. No one lends a signature. Very few lend a signature like this guy. What did that mean to you? Oh, me? <laughs> I'm just like, uh, you're, you're being me. I'm I just going to jump. You got the answer from that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, it, it was amazing. I'm such a big fan. When I went to go see Sin City, I had all of my Frank Miller books with me. Right. Um, I'm a fan of films, first and foremost. I saw Desperado probably before I should have. Right. Uh, I, um, I'm well versed in Rodriguez, and I was so ready to step up to the plate and collaborate with him. And it's just been amazing. So and I had the freedom to really bring Alita to life. So what did it mean to you? Because the first time I talked to you, I said, dude, your movies outlift their budgets. Suddenly now you have a budget that's probably bigger than anything you've ever worked with. It absolutely is the biggest scale movie I've done. Um, but then again, I'm making something that Jim Cameron was gonna direct himself. So it needed to be at state of the art everything, which is what he does. He gives you things you've never seen before. You've never seen a photo real manga character just brought to life. Right. And uh, that was his vision to do this back even in 2005 when he was gonna direct it, before Avatar, before the technology was there. He's always pushing the envelope. Uh, I can't imagine anybody but her playing this, having seen the trailer, <laughs> and you can't imagine the two apart. How did you know this was your Alita? This is just magic that happens. You know, we, we, as soon as we decided we were going to make the movie, immediately we look at each other, okay, who are we casting? We're going to have to go find this person. We hope this person exists. And when that person just walks in the room like that and they perform and move you to tears and you're like, this is it. Although we knew that she was perfect, we yeah. still made her go through a whole screen test process yeah. against other actresses. <laughs> yeah. Even though we already had that instinct and she, again, proved that our instinct was right. Yeah, Rosa, well, I, I love auditioning. It's like a you know, four minute play starring me. Of course, I, <laughs> a lot of actors don't like it. So I just reap the benefits of that. Said like someone who was born to be an actress. That's right. Now, th there's a long list of people that were possibly going mm -hmm. to play this part. How intimidating is that to look at the sheet of people that would have been? It's been. not, I don't look at the sheet. Of That's people. right. She's really <laughs> Alina. <laughs> I knew Alina. It. As soon as she finished her audition, she's walking out and I was like, <laughs> Who are you? Wait, I'd heard her name before. So people have told me before, Rosa Salazar, that I should work with you. And she just looked at me and went, and I would agree. And she walks <laughs> out. Awesome. I was like, and then oh, I walked Alita. out. And he and he was like, whoa, cool. And I walked out and I went, <laughs> You guys, I can't remember the last time I've done an interview that my knees were shaking so much. I was so excited <laughs> about the product. You will be like to this holiday season. Alita Battle Angel. Look for it. I'll be telling you more about it. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you. Nice to see you. Nice to see John, you good to see you again.